Hello everyone and welcome to day four of the Spoberry Week, um, which is this entire week, every single day, I am checking out brand new groups to me. So a couple of things before I get into today's uh, groups. First one, there's going to be timestamp, so you can just um, jump around to the reason why you clicked on the video. The second thing is, as you can clearly tell, things are a little bit different on here. Reason being, radio is my favorite medium of communication, and I wanted to do this whole journey thing and me getting to know new artists, and but make it on a radio format. Um, I find visuals very distracting. And whenever I, w I go and look at a music video, it's either I focus on the music and then I disregard whatever is happening in front of me or I will focus on the visuals and everything and then I miss out on the music and sometimes even the lyrics and everything. So because of that, since I wanted this channel to be like a huge recommendation platform, I prefer to do things this way where your attention is solely going to be on the music. Also, um, the way I do things is also different. Um, the first thing is I am not listening to the entire album here for the first time. The reason being, the way I consume music is very specific. I'm somebody that is very much moody. And when I'm in a certain mood, I don't like listening to a certain type of music. So sometimes I'm very happy and I don't like music that's going to bring me down or it's going to be the opposite. I feel like being very calm. And if you come at that moment with something that's very high energy, I will not enjoy that. I, will, I won't even really entertain the song and take my time to kind of listen and see all the different things that might be very nice about the song. But because my mood at that time is not um, in the right place, I will just um, miss out on something so whenever I listen to an album for the first time even for artists that I already listened to my first impressions are usually after three listens I feel like from three plus listen you really know if you like a song or not because two things tend to tend to happen the first one being you really love a song the first time that you hear it and then the next time that you go back and play that song you realize that you know you kind of didn't like that song as much as you thought and now you know you, you added the song prematurely on your playlist but kind of not the type of song that you want to hear um that you want to replay a lot or you will go and listen to a song for the first time and feel like, you know, that's not the song for me. But then later on, find your, find realize that that song is actually the one that you listen the most when it comes to that particular album. And because this has happened to me so many times in the past, I decided that whenever I will go and listen to a music, uh, um, an album for the first time, I will reserve my judgment after the third listen because that's truly the point where I know for sure if I'm going to keep playing that song um, constantly or it was just like a once-off and it's not a song that I want to revisit anytime soon, which is um, one of the reasons why um, I do things in that format. The second thing is the songs that I talked about here are the ones that for me impressed me the most. Like if you come and you talk to me about a certain album, those are the first songs that will come to my mind because they left a stronger impression on me. And also, I love to focus on positive things. Whenever there's something that I just don't vibe with or I don't like, I don't like dwelling on it. I find it unnecessary to kind of just keep going on and on about how something you don't like something or um 
you know, something is just not for you. Like, I hate having those discussions. Like, really, I hate negative spaces. So i rather put all my attention and my focus on something that I really enjoyed. But if there is something that's relevant to the discussion at hand, I will mention it in passing. For example, if I go and check on it, check it, check out an album and I find that the album as a whole is kind of underwhelming or it's not my vibe and stuff like this. I'll tell you guys that, you know what, I checked out this album, but I'm just not feeling it. And that will be the end of it. Uh, like I won't go into details and everything like all oh, this song you know what I hate the song and stuff like that no that's just not me it's not the type of energy that I like to be around which is why I only want to talk about the stuff that I like of course I would always always um stay honest with my um opinion and impression so if i don't like something i'll say i don't like it and then focus on the stuff that really appealed to me when it came to the particular album so sometimes um i would have a favorite when it comes to an album sometimes two th sometimes three it can also happen that it is the entire album that i really really loved then in that case i will talk about my different reasons why all the songs on that album are like really the stand out for me. What else? <laughs> yeah, I think that's it. So overall, if I check out an artist and I really, really love them, the goal is to add them to the, the groups that I'm already checking out on the channel and check out a different um, albums by them every single week also as much as i'm taking in new music i want to make recommendations on songs that either i'm or i already listened to like in the past and stuff like this or songs that um are i am obsessed with um at the moment or like just songs that i really love in general because like i said for me i want this channel to be like a place where we can all come and exchange um music taste or discuss rather our music our music taste and stuff like this i'm the type of person when i love a song i want everyone to listen to the song like i will go and be like oh, have you heard the song was and so you really should listen to it so i believe that music should be shared so whenever there's something that i really really love i love sharing it with everybody of course um i also love hearing about your personal favorites in the comments and stuff like that because then sometimes I just go and revisit um, certain songs and see like if my opinion on them um, change and stuff like that and I have a whole other series that just focus on kind of the feedback of my entire journey checking out a certain group um discography which i think is also very fun to do uh, and look back into a journey from where when i started checking out a group to where i am today i feel like i've talked so much now anyway <laughs> like i said there will be um time stamps so now let's get into the groups for today so today i checked for today i checked out winner girls in the park and got seven before i talked about the first group of the day i want to play my first recommendation and by the way all the songs today are going to be blackpink songs those are some of my favorite um blackpink songs of all time starting with my first recommendation of the day really if you really Oh. 
다 정리해 니 어장 어차피 넌 내게 오게 돼 있으니까 Better act like you know what Better act like you know what Ass have been calling me baby Body been telling me take me Voice have been saying to date me Your lips should be saying the same thing For real, what's the deal? Got a feeling you're feeling me Ay, But I don't play with them fakes Keep it real with me And that was a snippet of Really by Blackpink, one of my favorite Blackpink songs of all time. I feel like the song is so underrated, but it's just so good. So the first group that I checked out for today was Wiener. Now, when it comes to Wiener, I know Mino because Mino happens to be one of the artists that I listen to um, a lot. So now, this whole entire time... I knew that it was part of a group, but I was always listening to him and checking checking his music as a soloist. And I've not heard a single um, winner song. I only know my inner songs. So now it's going to be interesting kind of hearing him with other members and kind of see how he blends and everything. I always find it interesting when I know an artist from somewhere and to find out that he's also involved in another type of project it's always fun to kind of see where it fits and everything and the first thing I'm going to say when it comes to Wiener and before I even get into the album is I love the vibe that they have so one of the reasons why I'm such a huge fan of Mino as an artist is because I find him very how can I put it like every time I listen to him I'm always like relaxed and happy he just has this vibe that's very carefree and I love that and he's also very artistic I really love like watching his music videos checking out the lyrics to his music and stuff like this for me is one of those artists where um he really puts a lot of thoughts into his art and it reflects in the quality of his music quality of his music video and even just the way he carries himself is something that I really uh, um, admire when it comes to him so when, now that I checked out the full album by Wiener like I can see I can find this vibe here with now the entire group and it's already something that I, I really uh, love so of course I was just going to kind of enjoy their vibe because I love artists that make you feel like even though they might have like serious songs or even like different type of vibe and influences and stuff like that but you know it's the type of artist that feel very authentic very down to earth and I think it's something that I'm starting to kind of realize that is kind of the vibe over there at YG because I listen to um, Blackpink and then I listen to G-Dragon as a soloist um, as well and it's a vibe that's just there when it comes to YG artists and I've now started to realize that when I, I'm checking out more of their music and and the groups now and I thought it was just like the individuals and stuff like this but it seems to be kind of the vibe with the groups in the company where they feel very done to earth like really you know people that you want to be friends with because they don't take themselves too seriously and they're always about just having a good time and kind of doing their own thing without being um what's the word too much out there you know and I really really enjoy that I kind of I really love Winner's vibe and this album was definitely like a good one there's two songs that are definitely growers where I have to kind of listen to them a couple of more a couple of more times to kind of see if it's just me not vibing vibing with them or like I just need to give them time but 
the other songs on there are definitely very very good and like i said the vibe that i get from winner is just something that's i love something that i love and it just makes me excited for the journey that it is to begin with them because wow i love that <laughs> i really enjoy the the vibe that I get from them. I am myself a very free-spirited person. So whenever I find artists that just make me feel that vibe, oh, I tend to very get attached to them because I tend to get that. Wow, well, what did I just say? <laughs> I get to tend. What? <laughs> I tend to get attached to them um, kind of a bit more than others just because I can identify myself with them and just their personalities and just the type of everything that they do feels more appealing to me because it feels very natural. Now, although I love like mo most of the song on here are, are really, really good, but for me, this album has a star. It's just one of those albums where songs are good, but then there's this one, you know, the Beyonce of the group. And here there is the Beyonce of the songs. And that song is I'm Him. And that was my favorite song in, I just realized I didn't even tell you guys the, the name of the album, but yeah, it's the pictures, it is there, but yeah, I checked out their album, um, their debut album, 2014, whatever, how you say this, SS or whatever, <laughs> I don't know why whenever I'm just doing like my normal life and doing things when I'm not recording, I'm very articulate. And then as soon as I hit that record button, 
everything just seems to escape my mind and now i can't find my words <laughs> i know it's such a strange phen phenomenon but whatever in this album 2014 whatever how you say this um ss i would say for now <laughs> anyway <laughs> um i'm him no that's the song the reason why the song is so just so nice it's because First of all, I love the playfulness of it. There's just this playful undertone to the song that I really love. Second of all, I just love the choice that they made. You know, I love songs where there is this little bit of bounce to the beat and also even the way that they deliver everything. But it's just such a fun song because there is no way somebody's going to play that song and you're just going to stay um like a statue or not do anything like you bounce your shoulders your head like it's just such it, it, it's just such a vibey song that it's just you listen to it the first time and you are hooked like I listened to that song the first time and I knew it was going to go into my daily playlist as soon as I heard the first 30 seconds of that track because I love that I love songs like this where you know they can still talk about what they want to talk about, but you're having fun. And what I love about this is I just love the delivery. I, I love the melody. I love the production. I just love it. This song is just, it's a vibe, you know? And for me, it's definitely the standout when it comes to this album. Like, there were other songs that were, like, really, that were, like, equally great like coloring different uh smile again like those songs are great and everything but for me ham him is just a such a vibe a vibe the the word is it's a vibe you know it's the song that stays with you after you're done listening to the album it's the song for me that when now that I have listened to the entire album. When I go back and I want to listen to the album again, I always start by that song. And I end by that song that song as well. It's just to tell you how much of an impact and just a liking I have when it comes to the song. I just love the vibe of it. There you go again. It's just a vibe. But I'm very excited to dive into more winner music and kind of see what type of sound I'm going to love more, what's going to be my favorite album. And if, because um, at this point, I will consider that my, you know, is my bias in the group since it's the one that I know of. But then things change. You can, there's always something happening album to album. You never know who's going to really bring it next album. And then, you know, you just... Start paying attention to others more, but I really do enjoy um, Winner and the music, and I look forward to this new journey that I just started. Now, my second recommendation of the day, like I said before, all the songs of um, that I'm going to play today are Blackpink songs, so this is Never Know. I've heard enough of the things that I'm not
on my head, wondering if I gotta try and pretend. 나도 잘 모르는 날 누가 알아주길 기대하는 내 모습이 차지가 두려워. 저 빛이 더 밝아질수록 내 그림. And that was a snippet of You Never Know, one of my favorite Blackpink songs. Another one that's very underrated um, to my liking. Like people always talk about other Blackpink songs and not that one. This one never come up a lot when um, I see like Blackpink discography discussion and stuff like other songs always come up. But this one rarely is rarely mentioned but i think it's one of their best okay but honestly i'm also a slower black pink song type of person so i think i also come from a bio standpoint but i think those are the songs that they really need to be appreciated more so the second group that i checked out for today was girls in the park and i checked out their debut album the park in the night part one and just like the previous um the previous album that i just talked about i love pretty much the entirety of the album but there's two songs that for me i would consider growers like i can see the potential when it comes to me kind of really liking them but at the moment they are, they are growers and not like set favorite but then when it comes to the rest of the album i really do love it uh, one thing vocals vocals are something that i really do enjoy i like to say on the channel that vocals are my kryptonite um, i still do believe that but then since i started doing this whole entire journey I've realized that I tend to gravitate towards kind of the rapper of the group. And if it's not the rapper, it's the person with the lower tone, the lower tone of voice and stuff like this. And I don't know what's going to happen when it comes to girls in the park. But for now, I would say their vocal is something that really stood out to me in this album. And um, it was just... So much fun listening to it and stuff like that. Aside from those two songs where I kind of need to listen to them more, but I had fun listening to this album. So when it comes to favorite, I have two songs that I really, really love, like the standout, the stars. Starting from my second favorite, Lullaby.
That's my second favorite indie album, Lullaby. Like, I just love, <laughs> I love this song because it just reminds me of OSTs. And if you don't know, OSTs are, are also um, a type of music that I love to listen to. And this definitely fits in that category. And something that I also love about this, like, I love the vocals, obviously, but it's just beyond like the vocals in themselves I think it's also like it feels so it feels like a soft embrace the song like everything is so delicate and everything I love the fact that the melody is as um kind of simple as it is because it really allows for the vocals to really shine I also love the fact that even though like you have like um some high note and some little bit of higher ad libs here and there but they didn't go crazy with the high note and they really kind of controlled the power when it came to how they delivered the vocal um the vocals on the song and something that i really appreciate is when artists that are obviously very much um vocally talented can kind of control their voice and just Sometimes they, there is just right amount of power that you give through a song. Like you don't need to go full out all the time and break gla the the break glasses all around you. You know, like just power high note after power high note and stuff like this. Sometimes simple works best, and it's the case here where. What really makes the song as beautiful as it is, is truly the vocals. And they're not even doing something, you know, crazy and anything. They're just singing and um, and it's just so nice to the ear. It feels very comforting, very calming. And I just enjoy that. And I could re I really respect um, artists that know when to do just enough. And I think it's something that really elevates the sound for me because truly what makes you stay or just go back to the song is really the vocals and it's just amazing. And it's one of the reasons why, or the main reason rather where why this is definitely a standout in the album for me because I was already having fun because Lullaby is the last song on the album, you know, like you had fun and you listened to all those different sounds while checking out the album. And then that's the song. That's the one that's going to stay with you. Um, and that's the last thing that you're going to hear before the next era come. And to end on such a nice, calming and comforting note is something that I really love. I love when um, artists do that. Of course, sometimes um, sometimes outros and stuff like this are, very, are also like good and they fit in a certain theme in an album. But I also love when an album just ends on something very simple, simple but beautiful. And I think it has as much impact as a higher energy song or something a little bit more crazy or just some type of outro. I just love that. That it's just so simple, but it's just so beautiful that it doesn't matter that there's no, not much happening in the song. The song is just so amazing on its own the vocals are just so calming so comforting that that's a song that you definitely want to go back to because of that you know nice feeling it gives you whenever you listen to it 
My favorite on the album is Melting Point. My favorite song in this album, uh, Melting Point. What I love about this is, first of all, the vocals feel so velvety. I love that. Again, another song where, um, you know, the ad lib at the bridge and everything. She could really could have gone crazy on here and gone for some crazy, I you know, but. Oh, I love how controlled it feels, and it's and it still feels so velvety, so delicate. I really love that. Another thing that I love about the song is that this song is actually so unpredictable. So when you listen to the song and you start off kind of calm and stuff like this, and the energy start picking up around the chorus, and you expect that energy at the end of the chorus to continue, but no, they bring you rock back to that kind of calm energy and stuff like that then you know it's the, it happens again and the thing is that the chorus in itself the way it is put together that by the end of it you expect either um a rap part or just something different to happen so both times when the chorus comes in, I'm never prepared. I'm always expecting someone to come in and start rapping, which happens now the, term, the third time around. And I was like, yes, that's, that's exactly 
somehow that's what I wanted without knowing that this is what I wanted. And I love how unpredictable um, the song is. And I also love that, you know, that robot fits. It fits. It doesn't feel out of place or like anything. I love how kind of from that moment on and going on to the bridge and everything, there is just this little bit more energy thrown in, but it's done so smoothly that you don't even realize that the energy actually has picked up. And I really love that. I just love the, I really enjoy just the way they make music, you know? There's just something so, um, it feels so professional. And that's their first album. And it feels like, you know, pe this album for me and those songs, they feel like people that have been around for a long time. So they kind of know their strength and they know how to play, um, to play around with them. And I really enjoy that. But for me, the song is just amazing. It definitely stands out the most to me um, when it comes to this album because it's just so nice and so beautiful. And I just love it. So it was really a nice experience uh, taking out girls in the park for the first time. They're definitely um, a group or an artist that I want to go back to and check out more from them. Because now what I'm wondering is, I, are they going to keep this vibe that they had for... Um, this album or are they going to switch up things in the next one so i'm very curious and i very much look forward to um the next project that i'm going to check out from them so i had fun and i'm really uh, i'm excited for what it what is to come when it comes to girls in the park now my third and last recommendation of the day is Blackpink's Pretty Savage. And that was a snippet of Blackpink, Pretty Savage, another song that I pretty much enjoy. Whenever I listen to the song, I just can't believe that she actually says bitches on here. But <laughs> yeah, otherwise, I really love that song. So the last group of the, of the day is GOT7. Now, like Wiener, I know some people in this group as soloist. Jackson. Jackson's music for me is really an art form. Like, this needs to be studied. Whenever I check out, like, Jackson's music videos and his different projects, it always feels like, I don't know if any of you guys have checked out The Greatest Showman, but that's how I feel um, when it comes to Jackson, especially Blow. Blow really has that energy. Like, it used to be like an underlying thing where whenever I would check out, like, especially his latest, the past two or three years, the, the type of songs that he has come with and like the music video and the vibe, it always felt very um, greatest showman energy type of stuff. But Blow, Blow is truly what I always envision Jackson's music as just it's just so artistic and I think 
his music does very well with like a an ensemble cast when it comes to like music videos and even just performing and stuff like this. I think that's the best way that he can really truly convey his vision. And I really love his artistic uh, sense. I'm also a huge fan of JB as as a soloist. I got to know him as deaf and then I found out that he actually has two identities. But anyway, I I just love his music. I am subscribed to his YouTube channel. So I love when he, he had just dropped something new. And even the stuff that he released since the group left JYP. I think they left, but yeah, they did like leave with JYP. So I love his music. Um, Somebody else that I know. But for his acting, since I'm also a huge drama fan, is Jin Young. I also know him. I know Yu Gyeom as well. It's just an amazing dancer to me. And this whole entire time, I thought he was a dancer. And until he put out that um, his mu he put out music, and I was so shocked <laughs> to realize that actually it was not just an amazing dancer. Because I got to know him while I was watching a, mu a dance program. And I just realized that he has, he's actually like an amazing um, artist as well. And who else do I know in the group? Yeah. Oh, I know Bam Bam for sure. Like, I don't know if he can be on Twitter and you don't know Bam Bam. Like, I just love his personality and stuff like this. Like, in the back of my mind, I always knew that he was like in a group or something like that. But he's, he has such a... Is such a charismatic type of person that his personality is the type that just fills up the room. And I find him very fun to follow. And even his music and the type of sound that he goes with, it's very much like the life of the party type of vibe when it comes to him. So I knew most of them like a soloist. And to find out that they're actually in a group um, together is something so crazy to me it's crazy to me that i've not checked out god seven as a group because i know so many of them and most of them that i know it's because of the music and i don't understand why i didn't check out the group music this whole entire time but now when it comes to god seven as, as a group i checked out their debut album got it and when it comes to this album, I would say I'm 50-50 on it. It's um, half of it have to grow on me. And then the other half, I kind of like. Then I have one song that I really do like. But I am interested to see where things go just because of that one song. And also some elements in the different songs that I check out in this album really made me curious to see where they sound, what their sound is going to actually be, um, what they are going to come up with next. So even though I'm kind of conflicted when it comes to this particular album, but there's just enough things in here in the album to just get me interested when it comes to them and then I want to check out more from them and see how I feel um you know it's totally normal sometimes you fall in love at first listen with the group sometimes it takes two three albums to kind of really um fall in love with an artist you know and I'm a type of person I really don't I don't like disregarding artist or music um at the first the first album because I feel like one album is not enough for you to kind of get someone's vision, someone's artistic sense and or even their sound because what if the album that you are currently checking out is them just experimenting? And it's not what they usually go for. 
you know so for that reason i always start like to give an artist at least three albums after three albums i know for sure if something is for me or not but like one just feel like not enough for me and it's one of the reasons why i not a fan of single albums where there's only two three songs because I need more to have an idea of what you like to go for, um, um, what the type of sound that you go for and stuff like this. And I think for now, I am interested. Whether or not I fall in love with God7, I will know in the future. Like, I just want to check out more music to know if, like, I will fall in love with them and stuff like this. And it was just a case of this particular album having many elements that are not for me. But then when it comes to their music, really, really enjoying it. So, and of course, this is their debut album. And not everyone is going to have this amazing masterpiece as a first album because the first one usually is just here here we are and even them I don't believe that an artist's first album even though it's a reflection of who they are but I think the second one tend to be the most personal one in my own personal opinion of course we everybody is welcome to disagree because the first one that you put out there is kind of just making a statement. This is this is me and this is the different type of things that I can do. And then for me, the second one is the album where you really put 100% of yourself because the first one was just your introduction and this is the meat and potatoes of it all, the second album. So I'm really curious to see... Um, what happens next and also I believe that uh, as artists put out more and more music they start picking up more skills they start knowing themselves for example you know that uh, the certain technique of singing is not for you and then you have you are going to switch this um switch things up maybe uh singer rapping is your thing your thing and not full-on singing or maybe something else like a different type of sound maybe you are doing some r&b and what really makes your music pop or stand out is um rock and roll and something like that so that's why i love giving artists at least three albums because now i know i've listened to a variety of sound and um just what what's the word like concept and everything so i've got enough for me to truly decide if this artist is for me or not so when it comes to god seven uh and this album i would say i'm interested i'm not like a hundred percent in love with them at the moment i'm interested so i want to see what comes up next but like i said I have one song, one song that I really, truly love when it comes to this album. And that song is Like O. Yeah. Ooh. I love it. Yeah. 
내 머릿속 반복되는 네 목소리가 수줍을 때 항상 짓던 표정이 날 붙잡고 따주질 않고 있었어 참으려 해도 기다리려 해도 말을 듣진 않아 내 모든 건 오직 너 was my favorite song in this album got it and um yes i like it a lot i love the vibe of it um i love how playful it, it is um you get a little bit of vocals like uh, the melody is very nice i love the chorus i find the song very catchy and it's a song that i've gone back to quite a lot since i listened to it the first time So like I said for now I'm interested and I'm looking forward to the next album and to actually you know what I'm looking forward to the most is what is going to be the album to actually make me fall in love with them which is that's that's where my mind is right now like I'm so excited for what is to come I just want to know if is it is it going to be the next one or is it going to be the third one i don't know all i know is that i'm interested and i want to hear more so that's it for today i've put the link to today's playlist in the description box and also if you are a fan of any of the artists that i checked out today feel free to really talk about your favorite bias your favorite album your favorite era your favorite song when it comes to them in the comment and everything else that you want me to know about them um i'm very much looking forward to um check to reading you guys's comment and stuff like this and get to know more but be assured that i also do deep dives on my own as one of the things that i enjoy doing is just diving deep into an artist's concept who they are their personality and stuff like this but it's stuff that i love i love doing um on my own because it's very spontaneous i will start watching a guide and then i'm like oh let me uh, check out like a funny video and then it will be like maybe them just dancing and stuff like this so this is the type of stuff that i love to do on in my on my in my free time so I will still go and kind of find out more from the group on my own but feel free to tell me everything that is good about the different books that I checked out today. Also, um I have a playlist with all the other um discovery episodes so feel free to check them out as well. Who knows maybe you um 
love other groups or you just want to find out about others like me so um i really encourage you guys to check it out and if you like today's episode why not stay <laughs> that's it for me today i talk to you next time for another discovery episode